thing that's great about this diffuser is it's an air purifier, a humidifier, an atomizer, as well as a diffuser. And what this thing does is it breaks down the water and the Young Living essential oils into millions of different microparticles that literally saturate your air with this wonderful fragrance. Tip number one, use low mineral water. Yes, in your diffuser, you wanna use a water that doesn't contain a lot of minerals because those will just build up on your machine. I personally like to use distilled water best. Tip number two, experiment with the amount of essential oils you add. Now, according to the Young Living manual for this diffuser, it recommends 8 to 12 drops of essential oil. So when I first got this thing, I added 12 drops of joy. I started diffusing away in a small room, and within five minutes, my eyes were watering, my nose was burning. It was just too much. It was very, very strong. And as I've talked with lots of people that use Young Living essential oils, we find that they're very potent. So actually, you can have that recommendation. I only add anywhere from between four and six drops of essential oil, sometimes Sometimes only two and I still get a great therapeutic benefit. Tip number three, mix your oils well. You can always just diffuse a single oil like lemon. You also can add some additional single oils to your lemon like lavender or spearmint and orange, whatever kind of combination you want to put together in terms of single oils. You also can diffuse an oil blend like Melrose. You can even add a single oil like lemon to your Melrose or your oil blend. But what you don't want to do is to diffuse an oil blend like Melrose with another oil blend like Citrus Fresh. Because when you start doing this, you've got so many different oil combinations going together, you're going to get some funky smells and maybe even some funky reactions. Tip number four, fill your diffuser halfway. Now, if you fill your diffuser to its indicated line, it will run for about two to three hours. But what I like to do is actually fill it halfway and add about half the oil, so about two to three drops, so that I can run it multiple times during the day without wasting any oil. So in the morning, I'll do invigorating scents like Citrus Fresh or Awaken. Then in the afternoon, I'll do maybe Energy or Lemon for good mental clarity. And then before I go to bed, I can run calming things like Lavender or Valor. Now for some cleaning and operational tips. I like to clean my diffuser weekly so that the essential oils don't get built up on the silver ultrasonic plate or on the plastic lid. Now you can use this handy dandy sponge that comes with your diffuser. And for that silver ultrasonic plate, you wanna take this and put it in a little bit of rubbing alcohol or if you lose this, you can just use a Q-tip and you put it just directly onto that silver plate and clean it that way. Then to clean your lid, just use a mild soap like Brawner's, wash it up and rinse it and you're good to go. If you ever want to get rid of any water that's in your diffuser, be sure to unplug it with this from this adapter and pour the water backwards so that it doesn't get into any of these front controls and just keeps the whole innards dry. Two final things, your diffuser will shut off automatically when it's gone through all its water and oil, and there is no way to turn off the automatic light. I hope this was helpful for you, and thanks as always for tuning in.